Welcome back. We're talking about bunions and new surgical techniques that claim to result in pain-free surgery and fast recovery in 97% of patients. A lot of people just don't believe it's possible. Let's find out what our first guest has to say about it. Please welcome everyone, Karen Everson. Now, you are in the boot right now. I am. It's been three weeks. It's been three weeks since your surgery. Yes. Now, what made you do it? I had a bunion previously before, um, in eighth grade is when I had surgery by a previous doctor, and in five years it grew back. And it's been causing me pain for the last three years. So I heard about Dr. Moy um, on the Health Channel and saw his infomercial and was just inspired by what his new procedure was. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go with him. Now, there's a lot of doctors out there, and you have a lot of choices, but there must be something particular about Dr. Moy that stood out than any other. I would say the pain-free part of it, because the first time I had a lot of pain for about a week, and I was on crutches for two weeks. So it's interesting, because you can actually compare and let the other viewers yes, know. Yes, absolutely. Yes, and I'd, I'd be ready to do my left foot as well. Karen's an example of bunion surgery done by another doctor that really wasn't a permanent solution to the problem. But Dr. Moy's record of providing a permanent cure for bunions is outstanding. Let's welcome our next guest, Kara Bellsby, to tell us all about it. Kara? Well, now you walked up here freely. Yes. And you've had bunion surgery on one foot or two? One. One. And it was by Dr. Moy? Yes. Why did you choose Dr. Moy? Um, well, actually, he's, he was a friend, and I knew what he did, and I uh, heard other people say really great things about him, and, and uh, I knew he was you know, very professional, very good, so I just went to him. Now, tell us about right after the surgery. Did you have any apprehension? I mean, you haven't had it done before. I, I just knew that I had pain in my left foot every time I wore heels, and for a couple of years, I just endured the pain, and finally, um, you know, Richard said, you might want to come in and have me look at it, and um, diagnosed me with degenerative arthritis, um, a form of, um, from probably from being a ballerina for so many years and on my toes and whatnot. So um, I just I just went in and got it done, and I you know I hadn't heard too much about it. I didn't know that so many other people had gone through such a hard time because I just knew that when I got it done, it was wonderful. I mean, I it was not a big deal. Yeah, you're not I, understanding these horror stories, no, are you? No, no. Now I hear people say, oh my gosh, you're going to go get that done. You're going to be six months, you know, recovery. And I didn't know anything about it because the next day... How long ago did you have the surgery? It was eight years ago, about oh. eight years. So it's been a while. That is a while. Yeah. Now you would strongly recommend Dr. Moy, right? I refer everybody to him. You yeah. do? Mm -hmm. Well, eight years ago, we must have footage on that if you've been with Dr. Moy, right? I believe we probably have. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see in the back if they'll go ahead and put that up on the screen so we can check it out. I was um, in pain for a couple of years. I didn't even know I had a bunion. And I went to another doctor to have him look at it, x-ray it. He just said I had um, arthritis in my toe and I needed to just deal with it and there was nothing we could really do. So I would just spend the day limping and that's how I got around through life for a couple of years. I went into Dr. Moy regarding something else and he looked at my toe, touched it and you couldn't even touch my toe without it, you know, me wrenching in pain and he's, you know, at that point said, why don't we go x-ray it, look into this and I said, please do because, you know, this is what I've been told and I've been told that there's nothing we can do. And he said, there's no reason for you to be like this. And he came out and said, this is what you've got. And you need to probably, you know, we can definitely help you and get you better. Which, you know, when you're in pain, that's all you want to hear is we can get you better. I forgot that they, yeah, I forgot I even went in and had somebody else tell me that. Isn't it something to look that far back and yeah. remember? I just remember he made me better and I don't even remember anybody going to anybody and I just remember being in a lot of pain and, and he fixed it. Right. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you.
When we come back, we'll talk to a Two Bunyan patient, the unlucky kind who needed surgery for both feet. We'll also meet some athletes for whom bunions were a big problem. Stay with us and find out more when Life Beyond Bunions returns. <laughs>